Welcome. I'm Patrick Keenan, Biodiversity Research Institute's Outreach Coordinator. I'm here with Wynne Goodale, our Deputy Director, and we're here to give you a quick update at what's happening at BRI this week. Um, as usual, our webcams are showing lots of activity. We have birds incubating two eggs on Eagle Cam 2. Eagle Cam 1 is showing a lot of activity, daily activity at Eagle Cam 1. And our falcons are looking like they're going to nest. Last year they laid their first egg on March 21st. So we are keeping a close eye on those birds. And we just last week got our osprey cam up for the season and ready to go. And we are excited about the arrival of ospreys back to their breeding territories anytime now. Um, Wing is going to share some information about some of the research findings from a study that was conducted last year. And uh, the report just came out about two weeks ago, Wing, is that right? Yes, just about. Great. So uh, thanks, Patrick. And uh, so we started a osprey study in Casco Bay here in Maine. Uh, last summer, we collected eggs from across the bay, and we analyzed them for both historical and emerging uh, chemicals of concern. And in particular, we looked at two emerging chemicals, which are um, flame retardants, which are known as PBDEs, and uh, another uh, uh, chemical called PFOS, which is like a Teflon-type chemical, it's a stain repellent. And before our research over the last couple of years, we didn't know if these chemicals were building up in wildlife here or not in Maine in higher levels. And these results, along with our others, show that in fact that they are building up in our wildlife, they are accumulating. And in fact, we found one of the highest levels of PFOS, that's uh, the stain repellent, that has ever been recorded in bird's eggs anywhere, and particularly one of the highest levels, the highest level here in Maine. And if you're interested in this report, you can uh, see, if you're watching on our homepage, there's a link right below under the What's New section. Uh, or you can visit our website at www.brilune.org slash contaminants and uh, see a full, wonderful 75-page report, which I'm sure you'll read all of. Hopefully. Hopefully. It's great reading. Well, um, thanks for joining us, everyone, and we look forward to catching up with you next week with another report. And uh, in the meantime, please check out our website and, and check in with, with the report and what's happening. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Bye.